On this episode, we head down to Macon, Georgia to get the taste of Mobile, Alabama at Kudzu Seafood Company, right here on Georgia Eat, Explore, and More. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we upload a new video. We are in Macon, Georgia to try kudzu seafood. And this place was suggested by this Reddit user right here. So thank you for suggesting this restaurant to us. If you want to suggest restaurants to us, comment below or just reach out to us on social media. So we're gonna go inside the kudzu and see what the food is like. So we opened in February of 2015. We actually had a catering business in town called Kudzu Catering. We had done that for around 10 years and um, decided finally people wanted our fried shrimp. So we decided to open a restaurant basing our menu around a traditional Gulf Coast menu of uh, shrimp grouper and oysters. I grew up on the coast of Alabama and it's something that I've been cooking all my life. and. My catering business actually started with me doing fried shrimp and fried grouper fingers for guests. And I had created a reputation of probably some of the best fried shrimp in Georgia. So we wanted to bring that to the public so you could get them anytime at a little more reasonable cost than paying me to come to your home and, and fry them. It was a little expensive sometimes. Well, our fried shrimp are our signature item. Our probably signature appetizer are fried crab claws. These are blue crab claws that are deep fried. So it's crab without the hassle and it's deep fried. Can't really beat that combination. This is a mobile tradition that I brought to the middle Georgia. So a lot of people are really new to that. And um, another appetizer that is unique, that has become a great seller is our jambalaya hush puppies. We call those jam pups. It's basically shrimp and sausage jambalaya that's been breaded and deep fried. My go-to when I eat, if I sit down and eat, is I just get a shrimp basket and a side of jambalaya. Um, our jambalaya is done in the traditional style. It's not cooked to order. We bake it off twice a day and the rice really absorbs the flavors of everything that's in it. So it's got a nice body to it. I would uh, I get a lot of positive feedback on our shrimp and grits. Um, it's done in a little different style than uh, a lot of people do it now. It's a lot more simplified. Simply shrimp with a uh, barbecue um, rub that are grilled with tasso and served over cheese grits. And um, I think that's probably my, you know, big recommend, or the fried crab claws, of course. Uh, that's something that people just don't eat. Our food is a traditional Gulf Coast seafood, so that rolls the gambit from the panhandle of Florida over to Louisiana. Of course, Louisiana is part of the, pan, uh, part of the Gulf Coast. Um, it's a lot of flavor, but it's not overpowering spicy. Um, so you're Basically, I've found a niche in Macon that there were other seafood restaurants, but most do it in the southwest Georgia or southeast Georgia style of cooking. Um, it's a little more bland, honestly. So what we do is just cook stuff the way I grew up cooking it. There is a lot of Louisiana Cajun Creole influence to some of our dishes. We cook everything fresh to order. Um, we do everything right. We use fresh ingredients. Um, I don't even have heat lamps in my kitchen. So if you come in and order fried shrimp, they're not hitting the fryer until we get a ticket in the kitchen. Um, and then we've created a, a really kind of homey atmosphere. It, 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 people enjoy sitting next to other people and, and talking and, and, and just kind of enjoying the environment. The proudest moments for me are, are literally when we have huge nights, we do a lot of guests and sell a lot of food and, and do it without having any issues. Um, 
and that's a compliment to my staff. We've got great people working for us. We we work with a minimal staff most of the time, and this small of a restaurant, we've only got 45 seats, and it's not uncommon for us to do a dinner where we we feed over 150 people, and we close at nine o'clock. So we're we move some people in and out, and just really everybody seems to just be blown away with the quality of the food that they get. You know, the big thing with our restaurant is that it's small, it's efficient, and that we we put food on the table that people enjoy and love. It may be a little different than what you've had before, but it's, I don't think you'll find better just simple seafood anywhere in the state. And here we are right in the middle of Georgia. Um, so we've actually kind of friendly like call our place the coast of middle Georgia. That's part of the atmosphere we've tried to create. When you come inside, you almost feel like you're at the beach or you're, you're on the coast somewhere. And it's, it's worked so far. All right guys, so we got one of our appetizers. These are the fried crab claws. Never heard this before, but apparently this is a Mobile, Alabama tradition. So uh, the way we eat these is we take it and dip it in the sauce. We got either cocktail or what's I can't, I can't remember what the other sauce was. But we take that and we dip it, and then we bite it in the middle. Mm. Oh, oh man, that's delicious. I didn't think you could fry crab. I mean, you can fry anything. People fry Oreos, but like. Crab is such like a, a weird meat. You, you just don't think that you could fry it, especially with some of the, I, I guess you would, I, I guess uh, the claw, the extra skeleton is still there. So um, yes, frying the crab with, with the skeleton still on it. Um, I mean, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. So tiny though. Mm. Mm. Two thumbs up yes. for the fried crab claws. Yeah. I'm, thank you for bringing this to Georgia. <laughs> All right, guys, we got our food, the main event. I got the jambalaya. It smells good. Mm -hmm. I haven't even touched it yet. It looks really good. And on the side, I got firecracker shrimp taco. Really good. What else we got over here? I got the shrimp, barbecue shrimp and cheese grits. And then we got like a... Uh, a junior shrimp basket so that we could uh, try the fried shrimp and as a side for that we got the jam pups which like he said is jambalaya with uh, shrimp and sausage in it um, all in like a little hush puppy so, so yeah looks yummy let's dig in I'm going for the jambalaya first That's how you make the jambalaya. That's how you make it. These are good. That looks good. I didn't know what to think when they said a barbecue rub, but that looks yeah, good. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. We'll have to try a bite. That jambalaya is good. Well, go for the taco. Well, I was gonna give you a bite of mine. Yeah, yeah, let me try that. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> wow. Oh, he ain't playing. <laughs> they, ain't play they ain't playing. That's good. Mm. Let me give you some of the jambalaya. So much flavor. Just in that one bite. So much flavor. Wow. Way been in that box. Um, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. So now I'm gonna go for tacos. Mmm. That's a real deal right there. Mmm. Everything so far is full of flavor. Oh yeah. We haven't even gotten to the shrimp yet. Yeah. You can do that next. Let's do that now. They're a pretty big shrimp. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a big shrimp. Mm. 
That tastes fresh. It tastes like they caught that themselves yesterday. I like that. Really good fried shrimp. Mm. It's really good because the breading is super light and flavorful. But the shrimp inside is so soft and it's definitely fresh shrimp. Right. That, that shrimp. That fried shrimp, you it's guys. really good. Y'all gotta come try that. Mm -hmm. It's not too chewy. That's what I was saying. It was soft. Mm -hmm. They cooked it at like the perfect temperature. Yeah. So, definitely good there. Oh, yeah. The jam pumps. Tell me how that is. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's good. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. But that right there, that's good and unique. Mm -hmm. Definitely good. Yeah. Oh, it's sorry. a little fried ball of jambalaya. Mm hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it is rubric time. <laughs> and you know how it goes. We got appearance, taste, overall impression, and value. And it's on a scale from one to five. So let's get started. Appearance, I'm definitely giving it a five. The food looks great. Plated well. They're not big, huge portions. Hey, definitely a five for appearance. The food just looks good. I give appearance a five as well. Um, like he was saying, the presentation of the dishes was um, great. You know, I had a, a nice bowl of cheese grits. He had a nice sized bowl of jambalaya. Um, and it wasn't like a messy bowl or anything. It looked, uh, the presentation was very clean. Taste, come on now. I'm giving that a five. It all tastes good. The jambalaya, I mean, full of flavor. The tacos, full of flavor. The um, crab claws, full of flavor, shrimp, full of flavor. Everything had a lot of flavor and um, it, it just all tasted fresh and you know, it wasn't overcooked. That's another good thing, it wasn't overcooked. So definitely give it taste a five. Yes, I give taste a five as well because everything was so delicious. It was seasoned well. Like uh, I had a bite of his jambalaya, it had great seasoning, it had a little kick to it. And my, my shrimp and grits was wonderful. It was very unique with the uh, barbecue rub um, and, and fried shrimp, you guys. That tasted so good. So, taste is a five. <laughs> five. Um, overall impression of Kudzu Seafood, giving it a five. Very friendly staff. It's a small place, but I mean, hey, I, I like this nice, intimate environment. Of course, uh, I'm not sure if I'm, to, I'm supposed to say this, but they are moving, switching locations. But still, I mean, I love the decor here. It really does feel like the Gulf Coast in Georgia. Um, and again, friendly staff, uh, you know, Lee, nice, friendly owner. So, and, and the food is great. Oh, yeah. So you got great atmosphere, great food. Come on, definitely a five. Yes. And the overall impression for me, I'm definitely give it a five as well. Um, the restaurant is a cute little um, restaurant. It's clean. It's got a, a country coastal uh, theme going on. Uh, but um, like he said, everybody's super nice. Um, the food comes out really quick as well, but it is super fresh. Mm -hmm. So definitely give overall impression a five. Mm -hmm. Oh, and one thing I want to add before I move to the next category: they order on iPads. Yeah. So. Definitely innovative there, so there you go. Um, and value, definitely given that a five. Again, is what you're getting, is it worth what you're paying for? And I definitely say so because the, you're getting fresh quality ingredients, seasoning, everything is made in house. Everything's not too expensive, you know, considering what you're, you know, paying for. Uh, the jambalaya was like, I, what I believe, nine, nine dollars? Eight or nine dollars. And that's not bad. You get a, a good sized plate that will fill you up. So definitely five for value. Yeah, I give the value a five as well. Everything is reasonably priced for fresh seafood. Um, 
you know, you get a, a good meal. Like my bowl of shrimp and grits, it will fill you up. So um, I definitely think that it is priced well for what you're getting. Mm -hmm. So that was our rubric and that was kudzu seafood. Delicious. Delicious food, awesome environment. You guys, when you come to Macon, come to this yes. little spot here. Yes, definitely you're, come try it. Yes, you're gonna love it. So we'll see you guys back at home. All right guys, that was Kudzu Seafood Company in Macon, Georgia. Some really great seafood. Definitely recommend uh, trying the fried shrimp. It was delicious. And of course the shrimp and grits, which was so yummy. Yes, all very good and it's not that expensive. Um, our ticket was a little bit pricey because we got all that food. You don't have to get all the food we yes. get, but I, we do recommend that you try everything that we got. Um, so let's get on with it. Uh, the fried crab claws, that was $16.95. Uh, that was an appetizer. And of course, that's a little bit higher because- yeah, so it was that market value. Yeah, exactly. Um, a drink, uh, Coca-Cola 187, an adult beverage. That's what I drank, 575. Uh, shrimp and grits, that's nine dollars. Well worth the nine dollars. Some good quality uh, shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. Also got the jambalaya, that's eight dollars. Not bad for that. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. I got the taco as a side, the firecracker shrimp taco, and that was four dollars. Um, not bad. Um, and we also shared a junior shrimp basket and that came with a side of jam pups and that was five dollars So in total it was fifty four dollars and eleven cents Not bad. Yeah, definitely filled us up and we took some to go <laughs> Absolutely, so definitely well worth it when you're in Macon go to kudzu seafood company. Definitely. You're gonna love that. Yes all right and as you can see behind us we now have a map of georgia we had to put two maps together to have one full map of georgia but what, what i'm gonna do as soon as i get some stickers in i'm gonna mark off all the places that we've been so far and then as we go um to new places we'll put those on there too yeah absolutely so love that map right there um you guys are awesome we have merch i haven't made the new canvases yet but i'll get to it eventually um but for our other canvases and shirts and stuff go to eatexploremore.com um anything you buy from there supports this channel and you can either support by uh donating by becoming a patreon member uh, you can do that for as little as a dollar a month you get perks with that like a shout out in the video different things like that or you can just tip us one time via paypal and of course support us via social media yeah, definitely reach out to us you can comment um you know give us new places to try or go explore absolutely and most importantly subscribe so yes you guys are awesome share this video if you like like the video comment um again you guys are awesome we love you bye please like and share our video and subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching Oh, 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 oh,